Hi guys, in this video, we are gonna make these things. So we have to draw so many circles, which means we have to remember the circle's position and circle size, which means we need a array data type. So let's learn first of all, how to use array data type and how to apply the array data type to make some kind of these pictures. So let's run what is an array. So we can declare a variable to store one value, right? So let's guess. If you want to use 10 circles, which means if you want to know 10 circles set point, you have to declare 10 variable. 1 equal 10. 2 equal 20. equals 30 right so you can you declare 10 variables yeah that's fine but what about 100 circle that's ridiculous so that's why we need array variable let's use array variable so this is how to declare an array variable so int int array and kind of this is array variable's name equal you need a curly base to initialize the variable kind of 10 20 100 50 30. so this is how to declare an array variable so the chart this is variable name is one dimensional array and this is integer type which means the arrays every items will be an integer data type so this chart array variable has five items here, how to use the array variable? Let's use the print line char bracket zero. So you can get to the items using this index. So, so this bracket means the index, which means chart zero. This means the first number of the array. So we call this zero is array index. Array index will starting from mm, zero. So if you have five elements, this number 10 will be the zeroth element. First element, second, third, fourth. So you have to keep in mind the array index will starting from zero. So let's print out all the elements. Right? And let's turn the console, console like this, and let's run it. See, you can see the five elements. Or you can just print out giving the array name. That's another way how to print out all the members of array variable. See? In programming area, when you use the array variable, you need a for loop statement. So let's delete all the things and let's use for statement. And you can see two select color and let's declare the Array control variable. Let's say it's a uh, zero. So from i is zero until i is less than how many element? It's five. Then i plus plus. And in the body, let's print out all the members using index. Chart i. Is this right? So let's run it. See, you can see. But if you add on one more element at the end of the array or between some kind of element, the total number of elements has been changed, right? Then you have to change this number into 7. But it's not good. So in this case, you can change this constant number using this one. So here, the dot length means the number of elements of the chart array variable. This is kind of object oriented language. So this length is the kind of member variable of this array. So we can say we can run this kind of things at the end of this video later. Anyway, let's use so chart the length is the length of the chart array. So in using array variable, there are two ways to use array variable. 
There are two ways to declare the array variable. So this is one way. Let's try to run the other way. So let's make one more array, kind of int array, kind of dates. This same to the previous one, but after the equal operator, you can use the new keywords in number 10. So this is just array variable declaration. But this is the uh, array variable declaration and the initialization too. Do you know what is the difference? And after declaring the array variable, you can assign the value to the array variable using for loop. So let's use int i equal, uh, we have set uh, i equal 0, and i is, is less than, okay, bricks dot length in i plus plus and curly brace and in this within the for loop you can assign the number to the array variable right so how this base i equal random 10 mm. oh there is an error here right because the random function returns float variable in this case you can use the integer function to convert the data values into uh, integer number. So let's print out the number. Bricks i. So there is no errors here. So let's run it. See? Now we can use array variable. So now let's make this kind of bar chart. Okay? So what can, how can you do that? Mm, so let's delete all the things. So first of all, let's declare the array variable. Float one dimension array chart equal new float. How many array variable element? Twenty. So we are gonna use the setup function and draw function two. In setup function, let's canvas. Make the canvas 800, 800. Let's use the frame rate as 5. And let's go into the draw function. First of all, background should be 255 to clear the background. Uh, let's initialize this chart, uh, chart variable using for loop. For int i equal 0 i is less than chart that length and i plus plus and for body and chart i let's initialize the chart numbers in random number so, so random width so we are going to use the char chart so we can say we can use random width to initialize the array variable and then let's draw the chart array data type using the for loop. And i equal zero. i is less than chart dot length i plus plus and for body. Okay, how can you draw the chart? Use so we have to use rect function. So you have to say so. We can draw one rectangle by one rectangle. So you have to keep in mind the left top corner of each rectangle. So all the rectangle has the zero for the x and for the y will be the, the increment by the height of the rectangle. So the x should be zero, right? But y should be i times height divided by the chart length. Hmm. That's the x and y. So the width of the chart will be the chart i. And what about the height of the rectangle? It should be height. That will be the same as that, that one. Chart dot length. So I think that's it. And let's run it. Oh, we need to set the colors of this rectangle. So before drawing the rectangle, we can use the field function. 
you have to give three random number. 255 255 five, five, five. Address, oh no, control, control R. See? So that's why we need array variable. 